So how do you juggle the family life with all this uh, career, all this ambition? Like, how do you do it? What is the the balance? Because it's just some people need to hear. Some people need to know it's possible to do both, right? Yes. Um, and I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's easy because it's not, especially being a single mom. I got divorced a few years ago. So I have a nine and a four year old and I never mm. pl- like saw this being my life, being a single right. parent. So I had to deal with like going through a divorce in itself. That was a lot that had to go um, go through. But then having a kid and being self-employed, you can do it. You just kind of have to find balance. One thing, um, time management is very, nice. very important. Um, before this year, my son, which is now four, but for the past two years, I took him out of daycare. So I'm a single full-time mom and a full-time realtor. So he's coming to show with me every day. He's coming into the office with me. Like literally he just became a part of my life. Even to the point now, if I go into the bank, they'll be like, Hey, where's Grant? Like he's just pulling (laughs) out like that guy. Like he's a (laughs) free guy. Right, right. That's dope. (laughs) Um, but with that, I did find myself just like grinding and grinding and grinding. You know, you're trying to get to the money. It's nonstop. It's 24 seven. So it was to the point, like I was here home with them physically, but mentally I was checked out. I was still at work all day, every day. So I feel like I wasn't showing up to them as a parent, but Mm. now I actually try to set aside time. Like tomorrow, Friday, we have movie nights. So I said, like, oh. hey, we're going to have movie nights. You know, the phone is going to do not disturb. I'm not going to respond to emails, text calls, because clients, they act like you don't have a life. They will <laughs> text and call you at 10 o'clock at night and be expecting Thanks. a response. But you have to set those boundaries in your business to where you say, hey, after 6 o'clock, you know, 7 o'clock, mm-hmm. I'll get back to right. you at 8 in the morning because if that's point you know I'm turned off I'm into a full-time mom at that point like my that's like my second job literally like cooking cleaning, comes on. With homework, right <laughs> <laughs> but just really finding that balance time management and just um allowing time for yourself I was speaking with someone on one of my podcasts and she was a therapist and she was saying like you know single mom with him being with you 24 7 Right. You know, that's usually not normal because the normal person, they have that eight, nine hours where they're at work away right. from their kids. You right. don't, you're like, you can focus on whatever it is you're doing. But I had to, you know, find just, that yeah. balance between just, you know, being a mom for him and still trying to be active and productive in my business as well. 